Hi, Murphy. Many developers have asked me if they should run their containers on Kubernetes Engine or on Cloud Run. Hi, Martin. They should use containers. Then they can start with whatever they're most comfortable with. They can always switch later. Welcome to the show, Mofi. What do you do here at Google? I'm a developer relations engineer in the GK team. Currently, my focus is on helping our customers deploy AIML workload on Kubernetes. But generally, I like to help our customers run any type of containerized workload and find the best place to run it on Google Cloud. All right. Uh, I happen to know Cloud Run really well. Uh, it's actually my favorite product in Google Cloud. Developers sometimes ask me if they should deploy the applications on Cloud Run or Kubernetes Engine or GKE. But you said uh, that one should start with either one and change switch later if needed? Yes. Here's an example web application that accesses Cloud SQL like many of our users' applications. This particular app lets users vote on whether they prefer coding with spaces or tabs. I deployed it to Kubernetes Engine already. Let's move it over to Cloud Run. And why would we want to move it? I have heard from developers who started with GKE because they had Kubernetes expertise. But after a few weeks, they discovered that the workload is bursty and they didn't want to manage the application life cycles themselves. And if it's a business application, they might get zero traffic at night or on weekends. If they use Cloud Run, they can scale their application to zero so they don't have to pay for those times. Got it. So let's say we want to move the application to Cloud Run. How would we do that? Well, this application was running on Kubernetes Engine already, so it is in a container. Here it is in Artifix Registry. First, let's talk about permissions. We can run our Cloud Run service under the default Compute Engine service account. This service account has most of the permissions already, but we still need to give it permissions to access our Cloud SQL instance. This command grants the role cloudsql.client to the service account, so it can access the database. For a project with lots of shared tenants, creating a service account for your Cloud Run service is recommended. And this command deploys the container into Cloud Run. And the image option on the first line tells Cloud Run which container image to deploy, right? That's right. And the region option on the next line tells Cloud Run where to host the service. Then add Cloud SQL instances adds the connection to the databases. Then the allow unauthenticated option tells Cloud Run to allow anyone to connect. After that, the command sets some environmental variables for database access. I will run it now. This will take a minute to complete. You know what that means, Mofi. Tea or coffee break. And we are back. The command ran successfully, and it gave the URL to my application on Cloud Run. Let me open it in my browser. And there it is. My application used to run on Google Kubernetes Engine, but it is now running on Cloud Run. That was easy. Yeah, if it's a 100 meter race to deploy your application, with Cloud Run, you only have to run the first 50. Cloud Run does the rest. I like that. So next time someone asks me whether to use Cloud Run or Kubernetes Engine, what should I tell them? Most importantly, use containers. Then pick whatever they're most comfortable with. They can always switch later. I like that. It's nice to have options. Thank you for sharing this with us, Mofi. Thanks for having me, Martin. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions, please add them in the comments. Also, please let me know what you think of this episode. I read every single comment. Until next time.